So what's good guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Wazari's inventory. Honestly, it's pretty much just a drag and drop, but I understand that some people do have trouble with it. So just the reason for this video. So obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to their Tebex store and you're just gonna wanna log in to 5M, hit continue, and then you can just go ahead and purchase the product. You just add it to cart and proceed to checkout. After you do all that and you buy it, you just go over to your Keymaster account and if you search up Quasar or housing, you will see the product right here and you will see housing props. Just make sure you download both of those. So after you buy the inventory, you can just go ahead and go to your Keymaster account. And if you search up for Quasar, you will see Quasar store inventory. Or if you search up inventory, you'll get just the inventory. So the first thing you want to do is download it. I already have it downloaded, so I will not do it. But you just click this blue button and it will start the download. After you download it, I recommend heading over to their docs, which can be found inside of the zip file. When you download it, there'll be a readme file. But after you download it, these will be the contents inside of the inventory folder. You're just going to want to go ahead and open your server files, go over to where you want to place it and just drag the whole inventory into your resources. And you can go ahead and open this. You will have an SQL file, which inside is either this database for ESX or this one for QB core. Just going to go ahead and copy it or just double click the SQL file that comes with the files and just gonna open your database, go to query and go ahead and paste it in. Or if you double clicked it, it'll automatically open and you hit this blue button right here and just hit the refresh. After you do that, you can know it went in when you see inventory underscore close, etc. Go ahead and close. Now, after you do all that, there are three dependencies you will need, which is aux MySQL, aux lib, or progress bar. All you're going to want to do is click these buttons or the, the links right here, load, and then download as zip. I already have them, so I won't do it, but they're pretty much just a drag and drop. You just download it exactly like the inventory. You just drag it into your resource. Then, same thing for the other dependencies. And that is pretty much it. Other than sometimes your inventory does not save. And if that is the case for you, you're just going to want to download the one that applies to the version you have, either QB Core or ES Extended. I recommend doing it regardless because um, sometimes there are things that pop up. So to check the version you're on, you're just going to open the file, go to FX Manifest. We'll say version and whatever version number the, the script is. So this is 1.10.7. So we can go ahead and download ES Extended 1.10. That click up here, code, download zip. We just download this wherever. Then we open up the zip. Go back to our server files. I like making a backup just in case. So I just right click WinRAR, add to. And delete that and just drag over the new one and rename it to just here. And you can go ahead and back out. And if you guys would like to, you can open the inventory and go to config. There are a couple configuration things that you guys can change. For example, use target. You can either choose between QB target, aux target, or none. I'll just keep it disabled for now. A lock uh, swap at least so you can swap between items um i'll keep it to flaw so that you can block slot this is like the sixth slot so the slot that cannot be robbed um i like having this on you can turn that to true if item hide name you can either set this to true or false it doesn't it's up to you opening progress bar i would recommend turning this on as if you read here it says set to true to avoid dupes so just for safekeeping, I turn that on. Hands up if you have another hands up script. 
for example, hands up and robbery button. You can disable it, steal dead player, etc. This is all up to you. This, I would usually put phone here as phone is usually key binded. If there are any items you want players to only have one of, you put it here. And clothing, I usually turn clothing off if it's not set up correctly. You will receive thousands of um, clothing items, which um, Quizard does a really good job at helping with that. If you go to common problems, they tell you right here. You just have to add the correct X and it will work. If you guys want a video on that, I can do one. Um, but for this video, we'll just keep it short. And then same thing for all of these. You can either all up to you. But after you do that, go ahead and close it. And we'll go back to our files. There's also a QS shops. So there are plenty of configured shops already. But let's say you wanted to add a phone item to your store. You'd pretty much just copy the last one, make a new line. This is going to be the item name. So in my case, it's going to be phone. The price of the phone, we'll just do a thousand. And then the amount of stock, usually keep it down to 50. It resets every time you open the inventory. So it's perfectly up to you. But after that, you just go ahead and save. If you guys want a video more explaining this, I can do that as well. We can just go ahead and this and make sure you start this resource so you would just copy the name then we could go editor and you would just paste it in as you can see i have the entire bazaar folder started so i don't have to individually do it you guys can do it the same way but after you do all that just go ahead and restart your server and i'll be right back with you guys as soon as i'm loaded in So as you can, if you click tab, it will open up your inventory. Here you can change the primary color, um, which the opacity is currently on the way down. But if you turn it up, you can see that's the color it changes. I'll go ahead and keep that down. Secondary color is the black, of course. We can make red, pretty much any color you'd wish. And same thing for the border color, you can change this to whatever you'd like. You can even make sharp corners instead of rounded corners. And you can even change the text color, black to any color in between. Keep it white. And you can turn down the opacity of the. And just to show you guys that the items work, I'll just give myself a toasty. See? You can either you can even click Z to show your hot bar. And if you click one, you can see currently eating. I on. And same thing with weapons. Weapon. Tab you can see here if I click one. And it works the same way with pit with pistol. So as you guys can see, inventory part of the script. And if we go into a store, you guys can see we even have the shops. So we'll just go ahead. And as you can see, the phone that I added, but these did not go into my inventory because if you saw when I buy one, I do not have enough money. So they won't even appear. So let's just give myself some money. Give myself 10,000. Now, go ahead and buy a water bottle and an iPhone. Now you can see that it gave it to me. And if I open my inventory, they are both here. So, I click three. And if you guys remember, I blocked four from being used. So, if I click four or I block the phone, which is in slot four, if I try using it, it will give me the um, a notification saying that I cannot use that. So for example, like I said, for the phone, obviously phones are just key binded, so you wouldn't really need to use it through the hotbar. But with that being said, that is how 
you install Quasar's inventory. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have any difficulty even after following this tutorial, please let me know and I'll try my best to help you guys out. And please just leave a comment and I'll try my best to reply to you guys or join my Discord server in the description. But like I said, hope you guys have a great day and I hope I helped you guys out.